Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Hawaii Kia 5. Hawaii Kia 5 builds on the sophisticated keying tools of Hawaii Kia 4 and enables you to use them more efficiently with even more powerful and intelligent tools for isolating your foreground. So it's even easier than ever to maintain hair and other fine detail by creating secondary keys and dynamic garbage mats thanks to the new AI-powered face tracking and real-time edge tracking. And the new crop section allows you to exclude the edges of the screen and speed up the rendering of complex keys. So let's dive in and take a look at these exciting new features. So in this shot, we've got some very obvious garbage mat issues, as well as some dark edges and enabling analysis view. And then the mat check option gives us a clear picture of the problems. So let's enable secondary. And as you can see, we get this on-screen mat guide. Now in Hawaii Kia 5, rather than using sliders, you now have on-screen controls to easily set the size and position of the mat. And we can view that mat by selecting Shape View from the View menu. So in this case, what I'm going to do is to create a trackable center mat that acts as a garbage mat. Now, what's new in Hawaii Kia 5 is that when secondary is enabled, the shape group becomes enabled by default. And it's here that we can find the secondary Kia mat controls that used to live inside the secondary group. So the thing to point out here is that for the area inside the shape, the key is defined by the secondary controls and everything that's outside the shape is defined by the primary controls. But if we turn off secondary and enable shape, you'll notice that we've created a garbage mat where everything outside the shape has an alpha of zero. But another option is to turn off primary and just enable secondary. So that means it's now the secondary controls that determine what happens inside the shape. So you could use this option to test out different keying strategies. So one in the primary, another in the secondary and flick between them and see what you like. But in this case, I'm going to choose primary and I'm going to get to work on setting up this garbage mat. So I've selected an area that's roughly big enough to cover the actor. But what I also want to do is to limit the trackable area to exclude these lights. So we're tracking the actor only. So now I've got a good track and I don't need to worry about keying the edges of the frame. I'll just tweak that with a slight offset to the Y position. And if we switch to analysis view, we can see how well that's working. But what's new in Hawaii Kia 5 is that you can track the edges of the foreground. So to do that, I'll switch the mode to edges and we'll scale up the mat to include any of the blurred foreground. And now the mat dynamically resizes as the foreground subject moves within the frame. So we've managed to create a dynamic garbage mat that will change in size and shape depending on where the foreground subject is in the frame. And that's obviously incredibly useful because it brings a high degree of automation to the process of creating secondary keys and garbage mats. So now I'm going to jump into a new project to show you the new AI powered face tracking. Face tracking makes setting up secondary head mats a whole lot easier and quicker. So here's a brief reminder of how the standard tracking works so we can make a comparison. So I've set up this basic head mat and I'll enable track center. And what we need to do is exclude the bottom of the frame from the track so we're only tracking the head and shoulders. I'll reduce the softness and this is going to allow us to pull a key on our hair, which is softer than the rest of the shot. That's which means we get a bit more hair detail. And you can see that that works pretty well. But with some shots, you can't successfully track the head like this because there'll be other objects that get in the way and mess with the track. And this is where the new AI tracking shines. As you can see, if I switch from objects to faces, because it allows you to track faces without any additional setup. It's worth mentioning that on the M1 and the M2, AI track is using the built-in neural engine. So the GPU is freed up to handle keying and compositing. 
So we're currently using center tracking, but another option is to use the edge tracking of the face to create a trackable head mat that isolates the head and the hair. And it's simply a matter of scaling it larger than the face. And what that'll mean with this particular shot is that as she moves closer to the camera and her head fills more of the frame, the mat will dynamically resize to match. Just a quick note here to say that one of the really useful new options in Hawaii Kia 5 is the ability to exclude the screen clean process from within the shape. So in this case, I'm using the power of screen clean to optimize the main mat. And if I now enable exclude from shape, I still get to keep all that great soft hair detail inside the shape. Now, if we look at the final composite and I toggle secondary on and off, you can see we've been able to maintain quite a bit more hair detail by tracking her face, using that head mat to pull a softer key on the hair. And that's what a great key is all about. And the really cool thing about face tracking is that you can track multiple faces as I'm doing here. And what's even cleverer is that I can selectively choose to include or exclude individual face targets. And for that, we need select targets enabled as I've got it here. So the target order goes from left to right, target one being the leftmost face and target six being the rightmost. So we've got five faces here. So I'm gonna turn off face four and now we're only tracking the remaining faces. But if I turn off multiple targets, I can use the target control to pick out an individual face from left to right, depending on the selection number I choose. And here I've got the mode set to edges. So you'll notice that the mat resizes automatically depending on the size of the face. Typically, of course, you'll be wanting to create a head mat. So all you have to do then is to scale up the mat until it includes the whole head. Okay, let's switch to this clip of a guy breakdancing and look at creating another dynamic garbage mat. So analysis view shows us that we've got a lot of uneven edges that we want to be able to exclude from the key. One of my main aims here is to maintain some of the shadow detail, but there's also a fair bit of motion blur that I want to make sure to preserve. So to do that, I'll be using shape with secondary turned off. And let's switch back to source view. So right now we're just using the standard Hawaii key tracking. And one issue we're running into is that it's picking up something over here on the left and treating that as foreground. Now we could make use of the new sensitivity control to limit the sensitivity of the tracker just like this. But that would also exclude some parts of the foreground that we want to track. We could of course use the track area controls to compensate for that, but instead let's use the other new AI based feature, which is object tracking. Now this lets us limit a track to a specific foreground object without any additional setup. Lights and other fixtures are excluded from the track automatically. So as we can see from the analysis view, that's giving us a really nice tight dynamic garbage mat that really does the job. And if I turn off shape, you can see that our key, which is nicely optimized for the talent, just wouldn't be enough to clear the screen. And we'd have to pull a much harder key, which would lead to all sorts of other issues. But with our dynamic garbage mat, we're maintaining the motion blur and the soft shadows. And we're not having to compensate for those darker edges of the frame, which would mess up the key. So that's the great beauty of Hawaii Kia. Having two Kias inside the one plugin, plus the AI pad tracking capability built into Hawaii Kia 5 makes the whole keying process faster, easier, more accurate, and frankly, way more enjoyable. Now, just as with face tracking, object tracking mode also allows you to create multiple mats, as in this example, where I'm using the secondary Kia plus shape mode. Notice that when the two shapes come together, they create this nice tidy union. And just as with face tracking, I can choose which of these two objects to track by enabling select targets. If I turn off target one, I can track just the guy and exclude the girl or vice versa. 
Or if I turn off multiple targets, I can again use the target control to make my target selection. And one final thing I want us to look at are the new crop tools, which are often a better way of excluding parts of the frame than the track area controls. So let's reset the track area in this case and bring up the analysis view and take a look at crop. So I'll turn on the crop switch and then I'll use this top control to crop out the lights. I'll just switch back to source view to give us a better idea of what's going on. So within the tracker, you can change the track area from frame to crop. And this changes the maximum area used by the tracker from the whole frame to the region defined by the crop, which is shown by the red outline guide. The track area controls then work relative to the cropped box area rather than the entire frame. So in this case, I think I can crop into the left even further. And the important thing to know is that those crop pixels are now entirely excluded from both the tracking and the keying processes. And that means that if we were working here with something like an 8K plate, we'd have reduced it to around 5K. And that's obviously a whole lot less to process. So if you've got a complex key that makes use of the advanced compositing tools in Hawaii Key of 5, you're likely to see a significant speed up in playback and rendering, depending on how much you're able to crop out. And this is because crop defines the pixels that are processed right at the start of the processing chain for both image and matte operations. So the chances are that in a great many cases, you're going to get a lot of benefit from using this new crop function. So those are the main new features of Hawaii Kia 5, but there's obviously plenty more for you to discover. And just a quick reminder that if you click on the Hawaii banner at the top here, it will take you to the comprehensive help. And this link at the top will take you to what's new about Hawaii Kia 5. Use the navigation guide to take you directly to your chosen topic. So I hope you're going to enjoy working with this exciting new release. And thanks for watching.